Hello, we're going to do a short video in Blender using uh, proportional editing. I'm going to delete this cube and add uh, just a plane. And I'll scale it out uh, so, it's, so it's larger. And in edit mode, um, before we can do the professional editing, we need to have lots of vertices. So I'm going to subdivide to subdivide like six times. And there's lots of vertices now that I could select a single vertice. With, without the proportional editing on, if I select a vertice and move it, it just grabs that one vertice like that. Um, or I could select a few vertices. Um, with, I could select a few vertices and move and, and it just grab those vertices and it makes it kind of uh, jagged. What um, proportional editing will do is gradually move. So this button up here you can turn on and there's a few options here, smooth, different ways you, it can work. Um, but with, with that turned on, when I select one vertice and move it up, it um, I can change it kind of moves gradually, more like a hill or something. So the vertices beside it are connected and move with the ver whatever you have selected. Um, I'm changing right now. I'm using my scroll wheel um, back and forth, just scrolling. That changes the size of how much moves with um, any movement. So I could use this to make uh, kind of bumps in it. I could also select. With the circle select, I can select the edge and uh, I could rotate. I could rotate. So I could rotate, and as I'm rotating, I could change how much moves with it just a little bit. So that's going to work better if I look straight at it. So if I ro rotate, and I can rotate a big chunk of it and it and or how much moves when I move things. Alright. Anyways that is proportional editing and how that works by turning that on and then selecting pieces and moving it.